What's going on everybody? Welcome back to Supreme Tech. Today I'm going to show you how to add timelines to your project and show you a little timeline management tricks and stuff like that. So if you're having trouble adding timelines and, and other questions about timelines, make sure to stick around to the end of the video. Also check in the description below. We're going to have all types of different um, affiliate links for some cool tech gear and stuff. Check that out if you're interested. And let's get right into this DaVinci Resolve tutorial. Okay guys, so for this, um, let me go ahead and back out and just get into a different project. Alright guys, now we got a brand new project. Okay, so as you can see, we don't have anything in here. We have no media, we have no timelines, nothing. So... What you want to do is make sure at the top here you're selected in the media pool. You want to right click on this and the first option is timelines. You want to come to create new timeline. Now you can also import timelines but I'm not going to get into that too much. But let's just create a new timeline. Now this is very important guys. You're going to want to click on use custom settings and come over here to format. And you're going to want to make sure that your timeline frame rate matches whatever your frame rate of your video is. So if you shot at 30 frames per second, you want to make sure this is at 30. If you shot at 24, you want to make sure it's at 24. Same with 60 and, and on and on. So I shoot at 30 most of the time. You want to make sure you're at 19, 20, 10, 80. And you can mess with this if you guys obviously know what you're doing a little more than I do. But you can just go through these and change them how you want. Once you got everything set up, you just click create. And there you go. You got a timeline. Now, if you want another one, same exact thing. Let's do timeline, create new timeline, timeline two, create. And this is real important to remember. Now, whenever you're exporting, you're going to be exporting one timeline. So, say we got this timeline here and we're on it. Uh, let's bring some media in here. Okay, so now what you want to do, guys, you always want to make sure your timeline management is good. Obviously, you want to name them different each timeline. You want to know what timeline you're working with. And I usually use timeline one. It's the one that I'm going to export. All right, guys, what you're going to want to do is keep your timelines nice and organized and use them to your benefit. You don't want to have these things making you mess up and have them distracting you and stuff. You have way too many timelines. Just keep it simple. Just remember that within each project, you're going to have different timelines. And when you export, you're going to be exporting one timeline. So as you can see on here on timeline two, say this is what we want to export. All we got to do is come to the Deliver tab. Make sure we're clicked on Timeline 2 before we go over. And just fix your, uh, pick your render settings and render it. Now, this is cool if you want, say, you got this. And you want this to stay the same on this timeline. But you want to make a couple changes to it on a different timeline. So you'd select everything, right-click and click Copy. And then you just click on timeline one, right click, paste. Let's make that a little bigger. And it's the same exact thing. So we got timeline one and timeline two are exactly the same right now. And you can work on this one. Say you do some edits and, you know, you cut some stuff out. Let's just cut something out. Let's remove this. You know, say we add some text in there or something. Some other text, right? So you got all your little changes that you want to do on this timeline. Come back to your media pool. And now you have your edited version. And then you have just your regular media on timeline too. So that's one thing I like to do. I don't know, that's just me personally. Let me know in the comments below if you guys do this too. But that's just that's about it, guys. I just want to show you real quick how to make timelines, how to name them, how to change the settings and manage them. So if this video helped you out, make sure to smash that like button. 
turn on them post notifications, subscribe to the channel if you enjoy the content. Thanks for watching, everyone, and I'll see you in the next one.